Today, we are going to review the best laptop for 360 virtual reality creator and filmmakers who shoot on a red Kamono or black Magic 6K RAW. But before I go into the technical detail and show you some fancy B-roll like every YouTuber does, here is the real world no BS rendering comparison between a MacBook Pro and the Razer Studio 15. The first one is Adobe Premiere rendering 1 minute 5.7K to 60 video captured with the Instar 1X2 in ProRes 422 with a LUT, VR sharpen, VR rotation, and a light leak VR transition. All are GPU accelerated effects. Here is the result. Wow. Denied. The next one is Stitch 1 minute of AK by AK stereoscopic see video captured with the Instar 360 Pro 2 in Mystica VR. Here is the result. The last one is Stitching 1 minute of AK monoscopic 360 video captured with the cool cam AK with the cool cam studio, a free GPU accelerated stitcher. Here is the result. If you are a 2D videographer, editor, and here is a quick score of the Black Magic RAW comparison. As you can see, Razer Studio 15 can handle AK no problem. Here is a real-time playback of Red Kamono 6K footage my MacBook Pro can't get smooth playback at all. If you are a 3D graphic designer, we also run Cinebench, V-Ray, and Blender on both CPU and GPU to see the benchmark. If you just want to play VR game with it, with the Ocular Crest right there, Razer 15 Studio has a super high score on Steam VR performance test and can definitely play any demanding VR game like Half-Life Alex without any problem. As you can see, I can even play VR game without cable. So, what do you think? I highly recommend this machine to any video editor. If you want to learn more about the detail why and see how I use this laptop in real world jobs like we see live streaming on set DIT with the 144TB G Suite Shadow XL with Thunderbolt 3 and virtual production, let's dive right in. What's up everybody, it's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Just kidding, it's your girl Keely here from Creator Up. Uh, I'm a new member of the team. So uh, today we're talking about the Razer. I've been working with this Razer for the past three months now and I love it. I used to be a Mac girl. I still am a Mac girl, but Mac, I wasn't getting the results that I needed with Mac. And so uh, working with this computer when working in VR is crucial. Having a good tool to edit with is very crucial when working in VR so that way you don't get frustrated. The last thing you wanna be is frustrated when you're trying to edit a beautiful piece in VR. I've been working on a couple of my own scripted pieces, one including In Tandem, which me and Hugh shot in Venice Beach, California. And we shot tri with traditional cinema with the Blackmagic 6K in RAW, uh, as well as with the Insta360 Titan 
um, capturing that VR 360. And I loved it. Uh, working with this laptop, editing that piece was a breeze, uh, which was a shock to me because I've never used such a great tool to edit VR. But I was just amazed at how smooth and easy it was, not really dropping that much frames when editing in Adobe Premiere, which is really nice when working with Blackmagic RAW footage as well as the Titan footage. Um, it, it was very easy, easy to use with this with this laptop. And I and I've never gotten results like that with uh, MacBook Pro, for example, which I I still use MacBook Pro, but now I just use it to write scripts and whatnot. But this this is the editing computer you want you want to get, in my opinion. So I'm not super technical. I, I'm an artist. I love to edit and create with a really amazing tool. Things that I love about the Razer <laughs> might be like visual stuff. I love the light. There's light on the keyboard that lights up when you're editing and you can customize light and whatnot. I love that kind of customization and light. Visually, I'm just a visual person and I love that. Another interesting perk when using this laptop is that it's a touchscreen laptop, which you will not find with a MacBook Pro. Pro. Uh, they don't have a touch screen, but this does and it's pretty cool and you can do things on the fly. The cool thing about this laptop is that you can actually edit VR on the go. We've used it a lot uh, when live streaming VR and that's been really helpful to have a laptop that has that capability because you don't want to carry around your big desktop top PC around everywhere and maybe break something inside, you know, this is very portable, easy to use and when you're on the go and you want to edit or stream live in VR. Thank you, Kili, for her non-so-technical review of the Razer 15 Studio. I want to say this is one of the few Razer review videos that are not sponsored. We did not get the laptop for free compared to other big influencers. We only had the computer for three months to test the workflow in VR live stream and AK video production. And we both grow to love this little laptop. Sadly, we need to return it to the rental house, but this is life. This is not the top spec laptop workstation for video production. There are laptops with Intel i9 and Nvidia Quadro RTX 6000 that will cost 10,000 US dollars. But do you need such a high spec for video editing and VR videos? The answer is no. We as next generation tech content creator need to be realistic about our purchases. The latest tech is going to be very expensive. And if you need raw power to edit 11K Titan, like the install 3 Titan footage, it is better off invest in a desktop PC like what we have right here, the AMD Threadweaver X3990. If you are a professional VR video content creator, you should know by now to use proxy for any video editing that is above 6K. For everyone else, our goal is to edit in store to see One X2, One R, or GoPro Max 5.7K to see video fast and effective without using proxy and suffer from frame jobs. Let's do exactly that. Go ahead and open Premiere. We have a 5.7K to see drone footage captured by the brand new Instar to see One X2 on Point Doom Beach Malibu. We do some simple edit. As you see here, we are not using proxy and we get no drop frame real time playback. We are not going to stop here. I'm going to drop some GPU power VR effects onto our 5.7K video. The first one is the reframe our 360 using VR rotate sphere. After that, we are going to add VR sharpen effects and we all know that it's going to taxing on our machine right here. After that, we are going to drop in a VR light leak transition and other effects in Premiere that will usually crash more of the computer out there. Turn on VR toggle display to see in VR. We are going to do a playback by hitting the spacebar. Look at that. Real time no drop frame playback with a color gray. Three VR effects on top of the VR video footage. Amazing. 
On the other hand, our 2020 MacBook Pro with Intel i9 2.9 GHz and the Radeon Pro 5500M is dropping frames left and right without even going into Taco VR display. By the way, if you want to learn how to edit with the Ocular Crest VR headset, follow this tutorial right here. Only PC can do that, and in MacBook Pro, you wouldn't be able to see your LED inside the Ocular Quest 2 right here. One more reason to love this laptop when you have the latest Quest 2 right here and the Oculus Link. Now let's do a H.265 encoding in 5.7K to 60 for a standard Ocular Quest or YouTube VR delivery. Pay attention here in Razer 15 Studio, we can enable hardware acceleration thanks to the latest Premiere support. But in Mellow on MacBook Pro, you can only use software, which is why in MacBook Pro, the renderings take so much longer. So if you have an install with you one R, GoPro Max, or the brand new Insta with you one X2, that is the perfect computer. You can do all your reframing or you can see video editing at blazing fast speed without any frame drop or proxy hassle. But what about if you own Coolcam AK or the Insta with you Pro 2? The professional level VR cameras. Well, let's open up Mystica VR and take a look. As you see right here, we have a real client project, BLM footage for Oculus, that shot on the Insta360 Pro 2. By the way, the VR film series is now on Oculus TV officially. Go check it out. Lots of the footage is stitched on this little Razer laptop right here. We are going to do the standard musical VR stitching. Go ahead and render this ProRes top and bottom stereo in 8K by 8K, 16K in total pixel. We got 2.8 to 2.9 frames per second compared to MacBook Pro, which is 0.77 frames per second. That is a significant difference. Basically, if you have an NLE use GPU instead of CPU, like Mystica VR or DaVinci Resolve, you will see a significant performance boost from switching to Razer 15 Studio. Now, let's take a look at AK video render with the CoolCam AK using CoolCam Studio, which is available for both PC and Mac. On Razer, a 1 minute video render will take about 3 minutes to finish. On MacBook Pro, a 1 minute video render will take 14 minutes to finish. So if you are having issue with editing CoolCam AK video, upgrade to Razer 15 Studio will solve that exact problem. Another advantage of Razer 15 Studio is running to 60 live stream which traditionally we will need a desktop server with two powerful NVIDIA graphic cards. With its powerful real-time rendering, I'm able to push out AK Stitch video in real time with the CoolCam AK Enterprise and stream the result directly onto AK VR headset like Skyward S1 or the Ocular Quest 2. Razer 15 Studio is also great for editing 6K R3D footage shot on the brand new Red Komodo 6K. In fact, Red used this laptop in their official Komodo editing tutorial on their YouTube channel, as you see right here. So, if you are having a tough time editing your R3D footage or you need to rely on proxy workflow, Give this laptop a try. It also works great with Black Magic Raw light from the Pocket Cinema 6K and even the new Urza 12K. As you see in the Black Magic Raw speed text right here, Razer Studio 15 is able to edit 8K in 60 frames per second at this compression ratio and can handle 8K in 30 frames per second in any compression ratio. On the other hand, MacBook Pro is not able to handle 8K Raw and editing speed is three times slower than the Razer. Compared to MacBook Pro, Razer 15 Studio has a built-in SD card reader, great for on-set DIT and backup your media on the go without a dongle. The touchscreen is a nice touch to help you pan around in 360 with ease. I love to have this laptop on set with me so I can do light monitoring like the recent VR production I did for the Los Angeles Jazz Society. Faster DRT workflow with Thunderbolt 3 support, meaning less time I need to spend on set, backing up my media, which is great and appreciated. The 
advantage of a workstation laptop compared to a desktop is its mobility. But most major gaming PC laptop out there require a big power break to work. So you need to hunt down a power outlet all the time to charge your laptop, which is annoying. Just like MacBook Pro, Razer 15 Studio has a USB-C port that allows charging the laptop on the go with a power bank like right here. The Zendu Super Tank and the Zendu Super Tank Pro. Both of these Zendu batteries can provide 100 watt fast charging to charge and serve as a power supply for the Razer laptop. The Zendu Super Tank Pro can even show the voltage charging into the Razer, so you know exactly what is going on with your power supply. There are many times I film VR on set that does not have a power supply, like in the middle of Costa Rica jungle. This setup literally saved my life when I need to stitch on set and do a quick media dump. I also use this setup on an airplane when I want to do a rough edit to show to the client when I land it. The Razer 15 Studio and Zendu Super Tank Pro right here is a perfect combo for any digital nomad that are always on the go, jump from airport to airport. I hope you enjoyed this hands-on review of the Razer 15 Studio for see VR video editing or Red R3D video editing. This is a beautiful looking laptop, but I personally don't really care about the look that much. Because to me, this is for productivity, not like other YouTubers for set design. I need a laptop that can handle real world challenge and don't freeze on the job like live stream for Fox and Oculus. As a working professional, I trust this laptop's reliability. We are sad to say goodbye to this Razer, but we hope our unbiased review helped you to pick up a reliable laptop for your creative jobs. If you like our work, please give this video a big thumb up and share it on your social media. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to this awesome YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for upcoming reviews and tutorial. And we will see you next time. Ciao.